solder you need for this kind of bed. And I'm just gonna do this one because I can't hold the camera at the same time. Okay, and always pressure test. Mm hmm, that looks good. So does that one. That one's good too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's make sure you got no leaks. Because leaks suck. What is that? No, that's not a leak. That looks good. All right, last one. Mm -hmm. Yep, no leaks. No leaks in the system. And yep, I do have pressure in it. Yep. So that's how you do it with these stainless steel expansion valves. You don't need a whole stick of orange coated solder like these here. Dan Foss on this actually recommends that you use 15% silver, which is what I got here. There you go, now you can see it. Oh, well, once you're done with that, you know what to do. Evacuate it, open the valves back up, valves back up. And don't forget to mount the new sensing belt. And don't forget to insulate it. Something like that should do just fine. There's the extra filler material that fell off of it that was not needed. And while you're at it, Put new shaders and caps in it while you have it, while you're working on it. When you go get a new tire, they put new ones in, so why not do it here too? We literally carry dozens, if not hundreds, of them on our trucks. 